What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the casual ladder, showcasing some new and returning Pokemon to the Teal Mask DLC. And in today's video, we are rocking out with an Alolan Ninetales and Slush Rush Alolan Sand Slash team. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was sent in by Mr. Kurtaska, and I actually got this team over on VG Pace's Discord page, so I will be leaving a link down in the description below to VG Pace's Twitter page and their Discord page. If you guys want to go check them out, show some support over there, they got a lot of rental codes, so again, check out, check them out. Link is down in the description below. But like I said, Alolan Ninetales, a fan favorite, super cool Pokemon with Fairy and Ice type. And then you got Alolan Saiyan Slash, who I absolutely love with the Steel and Ice type. But Ninetales is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview with Snow Warning and the Focus Sash as item. It's Rocking Moon Blast, Blizzard, Aurora Veil, and Protect. Sand Slash is going to be our second Pokemon, doubling its speed in the snow with the Light Probe as item to make a hit like a truck. And it's also Rocking Ice Crash, Rock Slide, Protect, and Iron Head. In our third slot, we got our nice little support Pokemon. We got Tornadus with Prankster and the Covert Cloak, Bleak Windstorm, Tailwind, Taunt, and Snowscape. Just in case we're going up against other weather teams, we can always change it back to snow with this support Tornadus. In our fourth slot, we got Iron Hands, and Iron Hands is just always solid on any team that it's on. It's got Cork Drive with the Salt Vest, Fake Out, Drain Punch, Heavy Slam, and Wild Charge. In our fifth slot, we got Milotic, and I feel as Milotic is going to be a nice little staple Pokemon in Regulation E. Kind of how Heatran was the staple Pokemon in Regulation D. It's not an OP Pokemon, but it's going to be very, very solid. That's how I feel Milotic is going to be in Regulation D. It's competitive with the leftovers as an item. Rock and Scald, Icy Wind, Helping Hand, and Protect. In our final slot, we got the OP Pokemon. Ogre Pond with Mold Breaker and a Hearth Flame Mash. It's got Ivy Coldrill, Wood Hammer, Stomping Cantrum, and Spiky Shield for its final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on the casual ladder, look to showcase a low on nine tails and a low on sand slash in regulation E. First match is coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Okie Dogie team in match number one. They also have Sinisha, the great healer Pokemon that we actually showcase in our Infernate video. And then they're rocking out with Heatran, Milotic, Grim Snarl, and last but not least, they got Landris. I feel as the Snow Squad is going to be perfect here. We can set up snow. We can really get after a Pokemon that we're going to have to watch out for. It's going to be Pokemon like Heatran. I think we get after him with some back-end Pokemon. So I'm going to go Ninetales. I am going to go Sand Slash here. As back-end Pokemon, we are going to bring the Ogre Pond. Could be really, really good. You do have a Grass move, don't you? What you got cooking here? Yeah, you got the Wood Hammer. So we can deal with the Milo Ticks. We can deal with the uh, Sinistra. We can deal with a lot of different Pokemon. So I really like you. And then in the final slot, I'm thinking of just going Iron Hands. Iron Hands is solid all around. It can fake out. It can be super effective onto a few different Pokemon. I'm really liking it. So we'll bring Iron Hands in the backhand. In the back end, not backhand. <laughs> and, and we'll get after it here in match number one. But if you guys have regulation E teams featuring new or returning Pokemon, make sure you get them to me either down in the comment section down below or over on my Twitter page. The link is down in the description below. Would love to get as many teams as I can to showcase on my YouTube channel. But Heatran and Grimmsnarl do come out here as on turn one. And kind of a pain here. And I'm thinking of just potentially just protecting you, or I could just go Terra Ghost, use my Focus Ash, and then at the same time set up a War Bell, which I really like. Yep, that's going to be my play. So if you go for Heat Wave, you go for Heat Wave, it's not that big of a deal. I think Terrasalizing my boy here is going to be great. The Heat Wave will chunk up some nice damage, but on top of that, a War Bell is going to get set up, and a War Bell will come out here before anything. So I can see them setting up a Reflect or a Light Screen dropping a Heat Wave this turn from their side. Yep, there's a nice little Reflect. A nice, lovely Reflect. So we're going to set up a Roar Bell. They're going to set up Screens. It's happening. And Iron Head coming out here. What a KO if they set up a uh, Light Screen or Reflect. And out comes our lovely little Aurora Bell. So we get Aurora Bell up. I kind of wonder what we're going to do about this Heat Screen. I think it kind of seems like a pain in the neck. Like, look at that. Still ripping. Critting on my Sand Slash. And critting on my net. Double crit. Are you Scopelands? What is up with that? I can barely land heat waves, and our opponent right here is just killing it with the heat waves. So from here, I'm thinking of just dropping a rock slide here and moon blasting. Or I could actually blizzard. I could blizzard. I think blizzard and rock slide will kill the Grimstar also. I'm cool with that. And they end up terrestrializing. What? 
Who are you trash like? He trans show me glass. No Grimstraw. Into steel. Okay, that's fine. You can probably survive a shot now, but that's crazy that you uh, thrash on Grimstraw here. That low of HP. They train gets set up. Okay, cool. I understand. Rockside's gonna be cooking it. Maybe we can punch the Heatran. Maybe we can punch the Heatran. Lose some HP, and I'm gonna drop a nice little busy. Can I get some freezes in here? Any freezes in the snow? There's one. Give me two. Give me a little bit of luck here. I want the freeze Heatran more than anything. Heatran flinches. Okay, we're here. We came to play. <laughs> we came to play. So we're just chunking up some damage here, slowly but surely. Um, I think from here we just... Uh, what do we do? Do we swap? I think we protect Sand Slash. And we swap Ninetales. We swap Ninetales into you. Definitely get down for that. I'm definitely cool with that. So I'm gonna swap into Iron Hands here. I'm gonna keep her Ninetales for potentially later. I'm gonna protect that Alolan Sand Slash. We're gonna hope that Grimstarl is just. And they simply. Just frozen this turn. Of course it thaws out. I never get these turns. Thunder Wave's gonna come in here and we are protected. Cool. So he's looking to just Thunder Wave me, which I still believe we can outspeed Heat Train. It's gonna be close. 107 speed. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Can you dodge it, Iron Hands? Do something big here. No, you don't. You're gonna get burned. I have an odd feeling about that. Phew. Okay, no burn. So no burn comes out here. Um I think Heat Train has a chance of protecting here. I'm really thinking of just dropping that thing, but I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I'm just going to Drain Punch the Heatran. I really need to deal with this Heatran. But Iron Head's going to come out here, and we don't KO with that. That's a little upsetting. And I'm going to die out to Life Orb damage. That, that really sucks. That really sucks. And this thing is just popping a Spirit Break into me. I do have Vest, I believe. And we do have a Warbell up, so that's going to help us out tremendously. Earth Power's going to fly out here. Don't mind that. And of course, you get the Special Defense drop. Huge. Spirit Break comes out here. Gonna lower my special attack. But we are physical attacking. But on top of this, Drain Punch is going to fly. Which is big time for us. So Drain Punch flies here. Big time. Was that a crit? I love you. That's a crit. I believe it is. Yeah. Awesome. So we finally get some payback for their double crit there. Iron Hands get some HP back. We take out the Heat Train, which is massive. And from here, we can now bring back out Ninetales. Because I know Ninetales will outspeed that... Grimstarl, we can save our Okapon. Okie dokie's gonna come out here. And I don't know if Ninetales outspeeds Okie dokie. He doesn't have Fake Out. I don't think he has a first turn priority move, but Blizzard's gonna be a perfect move for us. We're just gonna Blizzard, and on top of that, I think we just Wild Charge into Okie dokie. Blizzard is gonna come out here, and just gonna to take out Grimstarl. Maybe get a Freeze? Maybe get a Freeze on the Doggy? On the Doge? That'd be, that'd be lovely. It'd be a lovely sight for us. No freeze and high horsepower is gonna come out here, which I was gonna say we should be able to eat. We do eat. Wild Charge now gets cooking. It's going to do some little bit of damage, but recoil damage is also going to be a problem for us. So the snow now stops. Aurora Veil is gone. They still have screens, probably, right? Is that light plate? It's definitely light plate, which is kind of annoying. And Milotic's gonna come out here. Okay. Now from here, high horsepower probably picks up a KO, which is kind of scary. But I have to go for the wild charge, right? I have to go for the wild charge. I do have Ogre Pond. We might lose this first match, which is kind of heartbreaking, right? Moonblast gonna cook here. Do a little bit of damage to the light screens and all that. It's kind of annoying me. High horsepower. He's just on 4 HP. And you're gonna scald who? Ninetales. So I get off one last wild charge here. I get off one last wild charge. And how much damage are we doing? That's some big time damage, but not enough. Not enough. Okay, okay. So I still have Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's gonna be great here. We still have Terra, don't we? No, we don't have Terra. We do not have Terra. We used it on our Ninetales, or our... Our boy, didn't we? Did we use it on our boy? I think we did. Yeah, yeah, we definitely did. So I got Ogre Pond here. And from here, I have Stomping Tantrum, which will okay, carry you, but I also have Wood Hammer. I could Spiky Shield. How many turns are left in? The reflect and all that too. I think we do spiky shield. I think we see what they're gonna do. I 
But there's no way they set up. They, they have to double down with attack. So I'm going to spike the shield here. I'm going to see what's cooking. See what they got popping, what they're going to do here. And Milotic's just going to protect. Okay, so good. I was going to actually attack that with a wood hammer. So I'm happy this actually turned out this way. Drain Punch is going to come after me. I'm able to do that. And now I'm going to take out the Milo. Now I'm definitely taking out the Milo. So I'm going to go after the Milo here. I'm going to take it out. I'm hoping we should be able to soak up a shot, and then from here, we can also spike your shield again and waste out the last turn of reflect. So we have to be able to eat up a shot. You going for Drain Punch, potentially? Probably, right? We should be able to soak up Drain Punch. We do. Cool. So you get back a little bit of HP. That's no big deal. We're now gonna, going to spike your shield yet again. And the reflect is already gone, but I feel as we should spike your shield regardless. Because the reason being... We want to deal a little bit more damage to him. So, Spiky Shield, by doing that, can deal a little bit more damage. So, if he is attacking us, yeah, you are. Drain Punch. Cool. Spiky Shield's going to do a little bit more damage. And we're looking to make this comeback. Alright. Now, we just got to do a little bit of simple math in our heads. Is high horsepower to play? What is your typing? You're Poison and what? You're Poison and Fighting. So, we have Ivy Cauldron, which is base 100. So, it's going to be 100 plus Stab 150 or Stop and Catch. Come out here, which is just double damage. And they're going to do the same amount of damage. This is stab, so it's 150. Um, it has a heightened chance of landing a crit. Do we go for Ivy Culture, or, or do we just go here? Hmm. I think we just go stop and tantrum. Super effective move. Let's wrap it up. Come on. My man for the win. Let's go. Come on, man. That's too easy. The comeback all day. Dropping some big time protects. Waiting to bring out Ogre Pond. And we clutch up in match number one. Grabbing us our first win. Second match on its way, and we're going up against more of a Regulation D kind of team, right? They got Mousehold, they got Annihilate, they're also rocking Hisui and Zoruk with Illusion, and then they got Regilecki, Dragonite, and Fluttermane. I feel as the weather is going to be perfect. We can set it right off the rip. We can really get after it. A Pokemon like Regilecki is going to be a little bit of a problem, but I love setting the weather here. We did it in the last match. Worked out pretty well, but I think it's going to work out a little bit better in this match right here. So I'm going to go in with Ninetales, Sand Slash, back end Pokemon. Probably going to be Ogre Pond. Great speed. Defense stats, little lackluster. It dies very easily, but I don't think it's really going to be one shot, right? Except for up against a couple of Pokemon here, but I really like it here. So I'm going to bring Ogre Pond and then do we go Milo or do we go Iron Hands? Iron Hands does have the Heavy Slam, which is going to be great up against Fluttermane. It also has the Drain Punch, going to be super effective onto the Mouse Hold. I can get down with Iron Hands. So is this going to be same squad? I believe we're going to go same squad. I want to use Milotic as much as I want to use Milotic. I think I like this squad right here. So I'm going to lead the same squad. I'm going to bring the same squad. And we're going to look to get after it and go 2-0 in our second match but that first match was pretty solid it was coming down to the wire but my boy ogre pond really clutched it up dropping spiky shields wood hammers nice little uh stop and cancer take out okie dogie who is actually a rather bulky pokemon and i first pheasantipity i think it was in my last match or two matches ago and that pokemon is crazy strong with toxic chain but i think all three of them are in toxic chain i think all of them the monkey the okie dogie and pheasantipity i don't know the monkey's name i gotta figure that one out Definitely got to figure that one out. Still learning a few things about the new Pokemon. But Regilecki and Fluttermane are going to come out here, which I don't really mind. Um, they both probably outspeed me, which kind of annoys me, right? Which does definitely kind of annoy me. But I'm going to go War Veil, and I think I'm... Do I Terra Ghost here? No, I think I just Iron Head right in Fluttermane. Correct? Yeah, that's correct. so correct. Let's not overthink this. Let's not overthink this. A lot of Fluttermane's Terra types is fairy, so if it terrestrializes or stays normal fairy we could still ko and we might be able to outspeed it it's not booster energy so as long as its speed's not maxed out i think actually even if it is maxed out i think alone sand slash in the snow should be able to ko because i think it was 107 speed i could be wrong so that would be 214 it's either 107 or 104 so i think it's gonna be cutting it close but i think alone sand slash has a slight upper edge on speed slight upper edge but again regilecki could just go for e it could just e-web me, slow me down, and just have, uh, just have Flutter me and get after it. I'm looking just to set up this war bell and just get off some damage. You're gonna explode, turn on. Okay, I feel you. I understand. We're able to soak up. Can you outspeed now? <laughs> Alone, sand slash. Yo, this thing just exploded, turn one out of nowhere. Oh, it's gonna be Zor. Is that Zoroak? That might be Zoroak. That might be Zoroak. It is Zoroak. We bring it down to one. It is Zoroak. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is Zoruk. Yo, I always forget about the illusion, man. I always forget. We still bring it down to Focus Ash, which is awesome. We're gonna lose a little bit of HP, but I know that uh, we should be fine here. We should be fine. I live on 8 HP, which is beautiful. It does get the attack drop, but I'm thriving here. I get off the war bill. And that's a solid turn for us. I'll take it all day. Yo, Illusion always gets me. I gotta start making notes, man. Whenever I see Illusion Zoro, just like stick a post-it note right on my mind. Or like, yo, they're illusioning right now. Don't fall for it. And I fall for it every time. Every time. It's so funny. Dragonite comes out here, multi-scale inner focus. Not too worried about that. E speed's a little scary. But I think we just Blizzard and we double down. Actually, let's go Blizzard Rock Slide. I just want to make sure we get rid of somebody. But he ends up E-speeding my Elementals, which is not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal, because Elon Sash is... Oh, you got Shadow Sleeve. Kind of is a big deal then. So the double first time priority. Taking out the Ice Squad. But I like her back end. I do like her back end. Here. I do get to go into my boy Ogre Pond. Let's get after it. And I do still have Terra. Um, hmm. What's my play? Because I definitely want to Terrasse Slice and Ogre Pond. Definitely want to rip after with Ogre Pond. So I'm thinking of just Terrasse Slice and that, and maybe just going after you, even though. Actually, I could just go Spiky Shield this turn. And hope that he E speeds me. I'm thinking of just Spiky Shielding and potentially just taking off. I'll fake him out. I'm just taking off uh, multi-scale if you do have it. Some from Rocket Inner Focus, some from our multi-scale. We'll see. I guess we'll find out right here. Because if it is Inner Focus, it can't be faked out. And I do think like a Shadow Sneak or something comes out from Zoro. I believe that will deal Spiky Shield damage. It is physical attacking. I think that's going to come out here. And we'll see. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. Okay, never mind. He's attacking. How dare you? Special attacking. And are you flinching? You are flinching. So you were multi skill, so I'll take that all away. So from here, I think we just harass slice. We should go for an Ivy Cauldron. Try to hit this thing as hard as possible, right? And then I will take out you with the heavy slam. So we know he has Fluttermane in the back end. We know he has Fluttermane in the back end. So Iron Hand's gonna be a great Pokemon up against that. We have the best on him. We have all that good stuff. So I'm gonna terrestrialize slice this Pokemon right here. And we're gonna look at it. So Ogre Pond gets the mask. We get the embody aspect for the plus one. E speed could come out here, but we should be able to survive at least one E speed, which would be nice. Hyper Voice can chip up. We do have a Warvel up as well, and Ivy Cold is going to come out here. Warvel is just massive. It's just massively big. Let's see how much damage this does. Even though it's not very effective, still a ton of damage. Stopping Tan is going to come out here, and I think he knows. I think he knows that I'm sitting here. Well, we are actually in a tough spot. It's actually a tough spot. It's actually tough, tough now that he went after my Iron Hands. Fluttermane now comes out here. How many turns are left in the Veil? One. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That might make E Speed be able to KO us. I want to go for Ivy Cold one to you. So Ivy Cold one is going to KO the uh, Fluttermane, so I'm going to go for a Wild Charge slot. Coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire here. Hmm. So we have a Roar Bell for one more turn. E Speed is going to come out here to take me out. And are you going to outspeed this Flutterbeam? Probably not, right? Flutterbeam might be a bit faster. Yeah, and that pretty much wraps up because then you can just E Speed me now. I'm able to soak. Ivy Cold is probably going to KO here, but without the, without the Roar Bell, I don't think we can eat up an E Speed. So we are KO. We just need to hit one more shot. It, it, it legit comes down to whether we can eat up an E speed or not. And that sucks that we lose a War Bell this turn. War Bell would have been big, and I don't think we can eat up another one. So from here, we're going to go for the Ivy Cordial. Got to be able to eat up an E speed, and I don't think it's happening. He's going to Terra Slash, too. Did you have this Terra type the whole time? Is it normal Terra? If it's normal Terra, there's no way we're surviving. Yeah, no, that's game, set, match. GG to our opponent. GG to our opponent. Wow, you really saved your terror this long? It's a little weird. I think they kind of forgot about it, but still, E Speed's gonna fly here. Wrapping it up, we're going one and one. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Almost to come back with Ogre, Ogre Pond again, but I definitely want to hop to third and showcase Nine Kills and Alolan Sand Slash a little bit better than we have so far.
final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against Ogre Pond, a top tier Ogre Pond team, it looks like. They're rocking out with Rillaboom, they also have the Shen Pao, they got Landorus, they got Twinanus, and Fluttermane. I like the snow again, I do like the snow again, so I'm gonna rock out with the snow squad here in turn one. I could see them leading, potentially, going into Ogre Pond for a lead, but if they do that, I could just try to slice water, start getting after them, and kind of just going from there. So I do like these two as a nice, lovely lead, plus Sand Slash can outspeed a lot. So I'm going to go into them, I'm going to bring Ogre Pond of my own, and then I think we just go Milo here. I like Milo with the Scald, I like its bulkiness, I like everything about it. We're going to lock it in, we're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three, and grab ourselves a winning record, because we are 1-1, one one. we did lose that last match. Kind of tough, E-Speed Dragonite, always, always going to be solid in this generation because terrestrializing with it just makes it so strong right you really can't go wrong with it i feel like in any format you cannot go wrong with that unless they start adding like more armor tail pokemon kind of like for rigoraph or pokemon with abilities like that that can stop first turn priority i just feel as like dragonite is always going to be in the meta but we'll see who they want to end up leading we got a physical attacker we have a special attacker probably looking to set up a war bell again to be honest and they're going to go into shen pao and tornadus which is cool by me i don't mind that I do not mind that. Do I terrestrialize the Alolan Sand Slash? Potentially, right? Sacred Sword's looking a little scary, so if I just pop in a War Bell, which I like, I think terrestrializing you and maybe just going for a Rock Slide here. But chances are Shen Pao Sash, we might as well chip up some damage on both of them, right? So I'm going to terrestrialize in the Ghost just to dodge any any type of uh, what's going to come in there. Oh, but Sucker Punch could do me dirty next turn, so I might just have to protect. I'm going to terrestrialize this, uh, this turn. Just so I can make sure I don't take any, uh, any what's called. Oh, Sunny Day comes out here. How dare you? That's no good. We don't like that. And that's exactly why I wanted to terrestrialize you. But I end up terrestrializing you. Aurora Bell does nothing now. I do get off a lovely little rock slide. So I get off a rock slide. That's some nice damage. We love it. And we'll take some HP. That really hurts, man. That really hurts because Sucker Punch is really scary. Now Sucker Punch poses a threat, and I need, I need the, uh, I need the sun, or I need the snow. I'm gonna end up hard swapping the Milo here. I think I just protect, right? I'm just gonna protect, try to dodge a Sucker Punch. And I'm trying to figure this one out. I'm trying to figure out what we should do here. I protect the sand slash, thinking a sucker punch is coming into the slot. No, it's not. A tailwind comes out of here. What are you going for here? What are you going for? I soak So you're gonna ice me, that's fine. I soak pretty well. I'm able to soak. And now from here, instead of hard swapping into into nine tails, I think we just go for a nice little skull to finish off you. And we just hard swap into Ogre Pond. Makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. Save the Snow Squad for the back end. Try to get after him after this one. We'll go from there. But solid turns from opponents to set up the sun. And I think potentially they think we're going to swap into Nine Tails here. I think they really do. So I think they either sucker punch me or try to set up a sunny day. Again, trying to make a read that we're swapping into Nine Tails. But instead of swapping into Ogre Pond. Trying to play a little bit differently here to throw off our opponent. And there it is. There's Sucker Punch. Beautiful. Please show me you're going for like a sunny day or something. Yeah. So we are Scalding. Scald, I don't think is going to be able to KO. Because it is in the sun. It does cut it close though. Which kind of sucks. Cuts it real close. So from here, I could actually just Spiky Shield. To try to pick up KO. And then, and then just Icy Wind on top of that. Which I like because we are wasting out Tailwind turns. So I'm going to Icy Wind. I am going to Spiky Shield. Playing. Making some crazy... Crazy weird movements because we're trying to throw off our opponent. I don't want to play like very simplistic, you know? Very readable. So I'm going to Spiky Shield here. We still have all of our Pokemon, which I love. I like Milo here, and the Icicle Crash is going to come into Milo. Hopefully, no flinches come out here. We're able to soak pretty well. The Bleak Wind Storm is going to try to land here as well. Bleak Wind Storm. And Milo Tick Dodge is beautiful, lovely. Icicle Wind's going to get cooking here. How much damage are we doing? We are not taking out- Yo, that's so annoying. <laughs> we are not taking out the Shen Pao. We get a speed drop, though. How many turns are left in Tailwind, though? I think there's one more, and this might work out perfectly, because if I could pick up a double KO, it'd be beautiful. 
yeah so i'm just gonna icy wind again and i'm just going to go for an ivy cordial here yeah i'm cool with that, I'm cool with that. so if i could take a take out this pokemon if i get a double ko here that's massive so i still crash can come in here that's fine my slowly soaking and i go for the ivy cordial i can finish you off the this is beautiful because now i get rid of you that gets rid of the tailwind threat and the sunny day threat and then I can get rid of Shen Pao. And then in the back end, I have the Snow Squad ready to go. Milo flinches? Okay, that kind of throws off my plan now. Milo flinching. Come on, Milo. I needed you, dog. I needed you. So I'm thinking of just Spiky Shielding again. Their Tailwind is gone. Beautiful, lovely, awesome. And then from here, they go into Lando. Okay, so Lando comes out here. I get competitive boost. Beautiful, lovely, awesome. And the pot potentially Terrastalize here, because I'm just going to go Icy Wind. And I'm just going to Spiky Shield. Spiky Shield, baby. So they have Terra. I could see a Terra come out from Lando, right? It is four times weak to Ice. And we have a bunch of Ice-type Pokemon. And there's a the Terra. So I'm looking to slow it down with Icy Wind regardless. And he's going to Terrastalize into a lovely little Flying type. So I think they're looking just to get rid of Milo here. We don't have a Roar Bell set up, we don't know that. But I like, I like what we're sitting. Spike Shield's gonna come out here. Show me you're going after Ogre Pond. Don't double down to Milo. Go after Ogre Pond. Terrorblast, you're definitely doubling down to, to Milo. And this thing is choice, it looks like. You're KOing. So you're KOing, that actually forces the shot to go towards, uh... Ogre Pond, right? Will this Spiky Shield? I don't think it was Spiky Shield. I think it has to be like a physical... It has to physically hit me. Yeah. So from here, I'm now going to go into you. I'm now going to go into you. And this is where I hard swap over time, right? Actually, I cannot. This is where I just protect you to stop the sucker punch stuff. And we are sitting in such a tough position. This is tough, man. This is tough because he's going to outspeed me, but I have to get rid of I have to get rid of Shen Pao, but I have to protect you. I probably should have just went into the Nine Tails first and foremost. There's a Sucker Punch. It's gonna fail. Terror Blast is fine. Mm, you're not eating that, are you? No shot over the pond. Okay. Okay. Now we're sitting here, back end, great battle so far. And I think from here we just throw another protect in the wrench of things, just so he can't sucker punch me. And on top of that, we Blizzard, because Blizzard would then KO the Shen Pao and do some big time damage onto Landorus. Plus we have Sash on our Nine Tails. If I can get rid of Shen Pao, we can really get cooking. We can really get cooking. It's gonna be such, it's such a close battle. It's gonna be a really close battle here. Coming down to the wire, I would love, I would love to complete this comeback with Nine Tails and Sandslash here. So we protect just a dodge sucker punch, right? We're trying to dodge sucker punch, and he's just, he's not gonna sucker punch here. He's gonna terror blast into me. Go after my Nine Tails, or Nine Tails. Go, okay. The Nine Tails out speeds, which is gorgeous. So we pick up the KOs. We pick up the KOs, which is massive. Um. Or a KO on the Shen Pao, which I wish Milo didn't flinch. If Milo didn't flinch, we would have been thriving in this matchup. Now we're sitting here. They're going to go into their final Pokemon, which is going to be Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's going to come out here. They don't have Terra. Rock Slide's looking pretty spiffy here. So I'm just going to Rock Slide, and on top of that, I'm just going to go for a Blizzard. Rock Slide and Blizzard. So Terra Blast can come out here, and who are you KOing here? Or who are you going after? You're going after Nine Tails, which I like a little bit more. Because my Sand Slash is going to be able to outspeed Ogre Pond. And I don't know, can we eat up a shot from him? Let's see, Rock Slide, I need your land. Beautiful, Rock Slide lands. Awesome, dope. We're doing half damage. We like half damage. And we're going to be able to outspeed for a couple of turns. We just got to be able to eat up a shot. I mean, it's not plus one. It, it doesn't have its terror type. But it still can hit like a truck, dude. This thing's a beast. And he flinches. Ooh! Woo! We love that flinch. And now from here, Rock Slides, we, we have to land a Rock Slide to win. So I'm going to go for Rock Slide. Can we land it? We do land it. This is KO, correct? Let's go, yo. The comeback with a low one Nine Tails and a low one Sand Slash. Love to end the video that way. Two and one. We grab ourselves a winning record.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen, two and one showcasing a bunch of fan favorite Pokemon with a low in nine tails and a low in sand slash. Absolutely loved using both these Pokemon because I love their design and I just love them as Pokemon all around. But on top of that, they're super strong with the brand new snow buff in Scarlet and Violet. We had nine tails, we had a low in sand slash, and then we also had Ogre Pond doing some work in today's video. Just love this team all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out make sure you spend spots every day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody